If you want to make more money this year or you're looking for a perfect side hustle or you want to increase your product line, please watch this video till the end because I'm going to be sharing with you how to start a profitable Tiger Nuts drink business. I'm also going to be sharing with you how you can prevent your Tiger Nut from fermenting during production and after production. So first things first, these are the ingredients that we're going to use. I'm going to be using Tiger Nut, of course. I love these big ones. They give me more juice, so I prefer to use these ones. Then I'm going to be using dates as sweeteners. I'm going to be using um, ginger. Uh, this ginger helps increase the shelf life. I will use cloves and I'll use one medium sized coconut. I don't use a lot of coconut because it makes it go bad quickly. Moving on, I'm going to pick out all the dirt inside. You see, let me tell you something. This tiger nut comes with a lot of debris. It comes with a lot of things that are not tiger nuts itself. So you see stones, you see sticks, you see bad tiger nuts. And please ensure that you pick them out. Ensure you pick them out. You are going to see it, so pick them out. Moving on, I'm going to wash the tiger nuts. I wash this thing is very dirty, so please wash. I wash mine two to three times. I wash the date as well, and I wash the ginger. So I give them thorough washing. After washing, I will soak them overnight. So both the tiger nuts and the dates, I will soak the two of them overnight. Here is the result. The dates are already so soft and succulent. They look so juicy, right? Now this is the tiger nut. It looks bigger than it was yesterday. Now I'm going to remove the seed from the dates. So because it's soft, it's quite easy. This process is very, very easy. So I just remove it. Meanwhile, sometimes the dates have some dirt inside. So what you need to do is just separate and the one that has dirt from the one that is totally clean so that you can rinse them afterwards. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about soon. Now here is the date. I already removed the seed. Here is the water that I soaked it with. I won't dispose it and here is the dirty date I was talking about the other time can you see so what I'm going to do is to just clean it with running water these are all the ones that have dirt in them I'm ready to grind so I have dates my sweetener here I have the tiger nuts itself you can see below I have cloves I have coconuts and I have ginger so we're going to grind right about now now i'm adding the date water and i'm going to take it to the milling store to grind as your business expands more you can get a milling machine to do that for you at home so here is the consistency i have after grinding it's thick and it's not runny so what i'm going to do is to add water so that i'll be able to sieve out all of the juice properly so i'm going to add like two bowls of water not filled up just to lighten it up a bit so let's see the results um, can you see that it's a bit light now and that's all i'm not going to add any more water to it again because tiger nut drink gets fermented quickly i'm going to be adding these ice blocks into um, the tiger nut itself and i'm going to add it into the second bowl where i'm going to be sifting out the juice so this slows down the process of fermentation so it's cooling it down because most times when you blend your tiger nut drink it's always hot so the warm environment is going to hasten the process of fermentation getting the ice block in the mixture is going to slow down the, that process while you finish juicing out all the drink and then refrigerate it afterwards using the cheese clothes i'm draining out the juice because this is what we want and then i would um, take out the shaft afterward I'm going to repeat the process for the second time using the cheesecloth again. I'll tie it over a bowl. This is to ensure that there's no shaft again in the tiger nut drink. Now 
this is all the shaft i have left the second time so our drink is ready for bottling so in total in general this is the shaft that i got from half paint of tiger knot one direka of dates it is super super dry because i've squeezed everything out <laughs> Now, if you are in Lagos, you can easily get these bottles at Ojata Market, Agigi, or some major markets in Lagos. They come in different sizes and different thickness depending on whoever clientele you want to sell. They also come with different colors of covers. I chose black. For the sticker, you get a graphic designer to design a beautiful print for you. Then, depending on the shape that you want, rectangle, square, or if you can even prefer round. It's okay, just let them design it for you. If you want to save cost, you can go and print them yourself and cut it yourself. It saves you a lot of cost. Just make sure that you measure the dimension of your bottle and the dimension of your sticker so that they align properly. Now here is the consistency of the Tiger Nut drink and the color. So I'm going to move on now to bottle the drink. So see, see the consistency? very very nice for a beginner you are going to feel manually so that's what i'm doing here but as your business grows and you are producing on a very large scale you're going to need a bottle filler now you need to go to your local market for the prices of all of these raw materials and packaging materials this bottle cost about 55 naira to 16 naira on the average and this recipe gave me about 16 bottles of tiger nut drink now you also need to do some market survey to check out the prices your competitors are selling so that you don't become too expensive or too cheap and you also need to know the kind of audience that you want to sell I hope you find this video helpful if yes please give it a thumbs up and also i hope you take an action today remember to start now start small but dream big add a sip and it was mm -mm, on point <laughs>